Yes, the camp started in 1986. The doctors that were running the burn unit at the time, Dr. Harvey Slater and Bill Goldfarb, um, recognized that among the patients that were admitted to the burn unit, 30% of them were pediatric injuries. And some of them were having a hard time reinserting themselves to society just because of their psychological problems related to the trauma and the injury and also the um, physical problems that sometimes came with uh, burn surgery, skin grafting, scarring. So they tried to identify an environment that while address these specific issues, the psychological issues and the physical issues, at the same time will provide uh, a place for them to meet other children that went through the same injuries. So this idea that started then started to grow as the years went by. Other burn centers also started doing the same thing. And um, it became bigger and, and better as time went by. And uh, I think at this point provides a, an excellent resource for these uh, essentially patients that have to go through these very difficult injuries. On one side, you have the psychological problems that come from a traumatic experience. Some of them not only lose um, their homes, they lose family members. Through the process of recovery, they have to go through pain, they have to go through addressing changes, a number of changes that can be very difficult to deal with. And at the same time, there is the, the physical aspect of this uh, in regards to uh, skin grafting, in regards to scarring, in regards to sometimes loss of function. So these are struggles that are difficult for anybody, and particularly for a, a young child. Uh, the purpose of this is to address those issues, and at the same time, um, for them to see that there are other people that go through the same problems or similar problems, and they can go back to their normal activities. Now, a lot of these patients sometimes have to face uh, bullying, uh, have to face the interaction with um, other children that have not gone through this and perhaps not completely understand the problem. So we try to help them uh, both with ideas like this, like CAMP, and also through programs like uh, return to or back to school programs where we um, go and talk to the class and the other children. And that, we think, makes the process much easier for them. We're always trying new technologies. We're always trying new approaches. Um, there are a number of technologies related to tissue engineering, related to um, doing things um, somewhat differently to try to ease the pain, try to decrease the time to recovery. And um, um, we are, as we're trying these new therapies, we see how they work. Um, in the specifics of your questions, yes, we're trying new type of tissues that uh, may uh, shorten the healing time and also improve the scarring. Well, there are two ways. Uh, one of them is uh, reaching out through our uh, website, westpenburncenter.com. Uh, there you will have, find specific information on who to contact if you are willing and you can uh, um, give some time and participate particularly in the camp. If that's not possible, you can all, we always accept uh, charitable donations that help to offset the cost of putting this together. Uh, we have a wonderful team that works all year long in putting this together. Uh, we're always willing to get new help from the community. I cannot um, thank enough, again, all our team that is involved in this. There is a lot of work that goes behind this throughout the year in organizing the camp and putting this together. They have done a, a great job and I just want to make sure that I mention this.